Faculty of Honor Guard, please proceed to your seat. <laughs> President Brower, members of the Board of Trustees, university faculty, graduates, families, and friends, as Chief Academic Marshal in the university's 120th year, I proclaim the opening of the 2021 Graduate and Professional Studies Commencement Convocation for the College of Extended Learning, School of Business, and School of Education. Please stand for the welcome and invocation. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Welcome to the most beautiful place on earth for a commencement celebration. I am so glad you're here. We are so delighted to be able to share this in person, and I am very grateful that you will help us maintain the safety of this event as we congratulate and award these graduates today. As we begin this time together, I want to uh, invite the Reverend Gordon Wong, our graduate chaplain, to come to offer our invocation and to begin this commencement convocation together. Reverend Wong, please come. <laughs> Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Today is a great day. Today we celebrate the culmination of your hard work in the midst of the most challenging year that anyone has ever seen. All of the preparation, the late nights, the papers that you have written, it has all led up to you being here at this ceremony as you complete this part of your education. I would like to leave you with these beautiful words from the Apostle Paul to the church in Philippi. He says these words, I thank my God every time I remember you in all of my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God is not done with you yet. There is a lot more growing to do, more adventures to take, more people to meet, more lessons to learn. And so I invite you to bow your heads with me as we thank God for what we have accomplished and for leading us into the next part of our journey. Please bow your heads. Lord, we thank you for these students, for your divine appointment that have taken hold of their lives to complete their education here at Point Loma Nazarene University. We thank you for the perseverance for each one that has uh, experienced the most challenging year that we've all had. We thank you for preparing them and bringing them to this day. Each one overcame great challenges and obstacles, and we thank you for your strength, your guidance, and your wisdom in their lives. 
We thank you for our faculty and our staff that help prepare each student, that challenged them and stretched them and, and cared for them and prayed for them. Thank you for the relationships that you helped to foster. Thank you, Lord God, for the supportive families, the parents that freely sacrificed, the spouses that took up more responsibilities, for the children that were understanding why mommy and daddy couldn't come to their musical or their school play. Thank you for each one that made this day possible for our students. And thank you, Lord God, for the friends, the lifelong friends that we have made along the way. May your favor be poured out among our students, our graduates. Would you continue to be their guiding light? And I pray that as you lead them, that we all would faithfully follow you. Lord, we're confident that you began a good work in each of them and you will carry it on to completion. Be our light, be our guide, be our strength. We pray this in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, amen. amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Gordon. One of the traditions that marks our commencement convocations is an opportunity for one of our faculty members to speak to the graduating class, uh, to share um, insights for the journey, and, and really have an opportunity of this moment uh, from a faculty member within the university to mark this occasion. In this setting today, I've asked Dr. Jill Hamilton Bunch, who is professor of education and serves as the associate dean in the School of Education as she directs our Bakersfield campus. Dr. Hamilton Bunch is a Point Loma alumnus from the class of 1990. In my years of knowing and working with Jill, I am always impressed by her passion and care for students, her work to make each of us better, her insights and her knowledge her teaching and her research, and the work that she does to ensure the journey is successful for our students at Point Loma. So it's really a privilege for me today to invite Jill to come and to share these remarks of reflection now for you as this moment of commencement continues. Jill, please come. Thank you, Dr. Brower. Every commencement ceremony is about acknowledging the grit and determination it has taken to reach this stage. The long days, the late nights, the early mornings, so much coffee. And the sacrifices, large and small, that you have made to complete this educational journey. Today, we congratulate you on an amazing accomplishment. And we acknowledge that your journey unlike so many who graduated before you, has included unexpected twists, turns, and barriers to leap, many hurdles that none of us could have ever foreseen. Perhaps you've experienced profound loss or unknown detours that were difficult and uncertain. Twists and turns, circumstances that tested your determination, your heart, or even your faith. And yet, here you are, ready to receive your diploma, able to celebrate a job well done. Many years ago, I was on my own educational journey as a student at Point Loma. It was the 80s, so there was a lot of big hair and shoulder pads and power ballad music that today's undergrads call classic. <laughs> and one day in my Old Testament class, we were studying the Psalms, and the term sila was used throughout. It comes between the verses in the songs that are the Psalms. The professor talked about the many definitions that scholars have for the word sila. To some, it's a musical interlude. To others, it's singing the word forever. But the professor preferred a different definition. To him, sila meant pause and reflect. I loved that message as a college freshman, and I love it today. Pause and reflect. Take a moment to take it all in. Take a moment to take a deep breath. 
Take a moment to think about what has come before and what is still to come. Certainly, we've all done a lot of pausing over the past year and a half, at times more pausing than most of us would have liked. And now we reflect. Because while many of our pauses may come unexpectedly, we always have full control over our reflections. So again, take a moment to take stock of what, you, what you've done, to remember where you've been, and to celebrate where you are. Think about your time at Point Loma, of how you have been shaped and equipped by your classes, by your professors, by your fellow students, and by your friends and family who have stood by you. And embrace the challenge to shape the lives of others as you take the next steps on your journey. As you receive your degree this evening, my prayer is that you have a moment of sila, a time of celebration and joy, not just today, but also in the days ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hamilton Bunch, for those important words for us today. In a few minutes, we will honor each of the candidates gathered here by the conferring of their degrees. But before that begins, we wish to honor those uh, undergraduate students receiving one of three levels of Latin honors, which is signified by uh, a gold cord. The uh, Latin honors are due to their high cumulative grade point average, and a description of those honors is included in the commencement program on page 34. So will the students receiving Latin honors please stand? Let's congratulate these students for their achievement. We now come to the high point of this commencement convocation. Mr. President, it's my privilege as the Provost and Chief Academic Officer to present to you the following candidates for the degrees in this Graduate and Professional Studies Convocation. Candidates, as I call the name of your degree, will you please rise and remain standing until all degrees have been called. The candidates for the Master of Arts in Education degree. The candidates for the Master of Arts in Special Education degree. The candidates for the Master of Arts in Teaching degree. The candidates for the Masters of Business Administration degree. The candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Integrated Studies degree. The candidate for Bachelor of Business Administration degree. Mr. President, each of these individuals has fulfilled or is scheduled to fulfill this summer <laughs> all of the degree requirements. And so on behalf of the faculty and by their vote, I am pleased to recommend to you the conferring of their respective degrees. Thank you, Dr. Fulcher. It is my privilege to participate in this very significant event in your lives. And let me pronounce upon you the words that you have been seeking to accomplish with the conferring of your degree. Now by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Point Loma Nazarene University and by the State of California, it gives me great pleasure to confer upon each of you, effective upon the date of your completion of your program of study, the degree to which you are entitled with all of the rights, privileges, and honors uh, pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates.
master's candidates, please be seated, and bachelor uh, degree candidates, please remain standing. One of the significant moments in achieving your baccalaureate degree is marked by the movement of your tassel from the right side of your mortar board to the left. So in this long honored tradition, now as a baccalaureate graduate, please take your tassel and move it to the left, signifying your degree. Congratulations, you may be seated. As our associate honor guards release each row, if the candidates would please stand and make your way to the front and approach the platform as your name is read. Abigail Louise Allen. Claudia Jimenez Amaral. Jennifer Berg. Elizabeth Jane Bills. Amanda Anais. Barcina! Audrey Jane Campbell! Nicole Yvette Carter Curtis! Jessica Denise Chavez! Davina Chavez. <laughs> Tina Chung. <laughs> Christina Connerly. <laughs> Vanessa Gonzalez de la Torre. Adelita A. Famania. Sarah S. Galvin. Jill Elise Gamelson. Martha Garcia. Ileana Gonzalez. James Anthony Love. Claudia Medrano Maldonado. Marissa Soleil Maldonado. Natalie Maldonado! Suchi Negutli Nalgayon Eggleton! <laughs> Tiffany Summer Neal! <laughs> Dahlia Nicolas Diaz! Ariel Renee Guzman! 
Melinda Ann Hoft. Rebecca Ann Kahn. Mary Kilmer. Hope Lotto. Alicia Margarita Lopez. Jennifer Renee Updol. Dre Marios Dreda. Liche Lashawn Shaw. Andrea Sandoval. Fernanda Viana. Tekka Sosi. Jorge Roberto Vieja. Laura Beth Webb. Farron Dean Page Jr. Griselda Partida. Tanya Puentes. Crystal Ramirez. Andrea Rivea Bucharest. Nicole Catherine Riccio. Abigail Marie Rogers. Tanya Alanis. Elizabeth Martinez Castro. Jasmine Garibay. Alta Rochelle Carolas. Jasmine Sai Gonzalez. Yaritza Hernandez. Alina Gabriela Kleinhens. Brian Richard Lujan. Sigrid Valeria Medina. Brittany Nicole Mejia. Christine Rios Mohara. Abigail Morales. Marsha Monet Omelina. Brianna Loeza Perry. Angela Marie Quinn. Caitlin Turner. 
Janelli Pahati Vital. Jacqueline Aceves. Lisette Aguarging. Sean Paul Boyd. Lynette Catherine Bradley Brown. Angela Castaneda. Angelica Mansorat Castaneo. Jose Luis Casares. Kelsey Davis Hubble. Ileana Flores. Jasmine Flores. Vivian Flores. Carla Gomez. Florence Marie Huckleby. Lauren Nicole Hunter. Marina Karajean Klein. Raina Diane Lopez. Sydney Maher. Sarah Olivia Marone. Isaac J. Rickert. Susanna Salazar. <laughs> Samantha Sampson. Alicia Sand. Maria Julia Sepulveda. Diane Vega Valdez. Jonathan Valverde. Damian Velasquez. Apolina Zamaripa Vallejo. Cody J. Anderson. Benjamin Arteague. Andrew Curtis Brancama. Eric Burleson. Michael Figueroa. Brianna Valeria Gallardo. Min Jung Gill. Ariana Cynthia Gonzalez. Brandon Lee Grogan. Austin T. Helton. 
William Chase Hoffman. Irina Jolly. Kristen Alexis Lee. Jamie Lee. Lisa Lilo. Michael Eric Lofi. Brian McCardle Jr. Daniela Mendez Rossi. Malika L. Moore. Emily Nicole Paget. Yuha Charles Preston. Ricardo Sandoval Robledo. Nathan Daniel Sipple. Crystal S. Stebbins. Io Toy Calvin Daishi Uemura Jonathan Vela Jose Eduardo Civilnueva the third Lauren Mardell Washburn. Alexis Nicole Western. Yi Feng Zong. Graduating summa cum laude, Zoe Danielle Berry. Ashley Nicole Barton. Graduating summa cum laude, Brittany Marie Casper. Graduating magna cum laude, Melissa Castaneda. Diana Marie Cherry. Ryan Alicia Glowankowski. Edgar J. Gonzalez. Selena Marie Green. Graduating summa cum laude, Bradley Katz. Graduating summa cum laude, Cameron Rayleigh. Yeah. Melissa Torres. Yeah. Caitlin Marie York. Yeah. Remy J. Cacho. Christopher David Loringer. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Francisco Javier Quiroz Lopez. <laughs> Angelique Marie Rains. <laughs> Delta Sivance.
At this time, would all of our graduates please stand once again and receive our congratulations. Well done, everybody. You may be seated. Graduates, I know we have one additional group to express appreciation to today, because I know you haven't arrived at this moment all alone. Uh, there are family and friends. Uh, there are some who have children and spouses who are here. And would you rise to your feet and express your appreciation to those who have come to celebrate with you? <clears throat> Family members, thank you for all that you have provided, contributed for the many errands you have covered and all that has been done to make this moment possible. One of the traditions at the university is ascending blessing that occurs at the end of each convocation. And in just a moment, graduates, I'll ask you to stand for that blessing. But I want to just take a moment to congratulate you and let you know how proud we are to have been a part of this journey in your education. We have given our best to teach you and, and to shape you intellectually and spiritually and to put within your heart a call to serve others and to be involved in your world wherever you will be. And as we send you from this place, it is with our highest honor, a degree from Point Loma Nazarene University. And we send that with confidence as you move into your responsibilities, sometimes new responsibilities of life that this experience certainly will provide. So would you join me in standing and give me the privilege on behalf of all of our faculty and staff, our board of trustees, to receive this blessing. And may it settle into the very depths of your soul and call you and guide you and lead you in these days ahead. Throughout all of your life, may you know and receive God's grace. May God's truth embodied in Christ resource your living. And may God's holiness fill you with love, love for service to others. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, both now and forevermore. God bless you. God keep you. Congratulations. You will ever and forever represent PLNU. And we are proud and privileged to have our mark upon you. Serve well, do well, stay connected. And welcome to this family of uh, nearly 50,000 alumni who are a part of Point Loma Nazarene University. It is a privilege for us to share with you as you are standing, I'm going to invite our faculty honor guard to come 
and take your places with our graduates. And I'd like also to invite our audience to stand so that we may honor these graduates with their recessional from this Greek amphitheater. And those of you who are a guest after the recessional is concluded, well, you're, you're welcome to stay, but we're all leaving. So you, uh, <laughs> please consider this to be your uh, recessional after we are finished as well. Again, graduates, congratulations. God bless you. We look forward to all that is ahead. And let's now begin.